we're going to review two examples for this topic. So I'm going to go over some of the ideas behind what they're asking you to do. Notice they say rewrite the equation. So that means we're basically just going to manipulate it, move things around. That's all we're doing. So in this format, so 8x plus by equal to c, this is called standard format. And if you notice these letters here, we have a, b, and c. That's important to understand that a, b, and c are numbers from the set of integers. So integers, if you forgot, Integers is a set that looks like this. So numbers like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. So any number that fits this pattern. Notice there's no decimals, no fractions. Which means in your final equation, you should not have any fractions or decimals in it. Or it would be marked incorrect. The other thing you may notice is that the x and the y in this equation are on the left side of the equal sign. And then the c is on the right. And as I just mentioned, C represents any of these numbers here. So notice these numbers do not have any variables. Therefore, the value for C is going to be one of the numbers without the variables on the right. So that's your goal. Get the X term on the left, the Y term on the left, and then the term without the variable, which is in math we call that the constant. We want the constant on the right as well. And once you meet those conditions, you have what is called standard format. So let's look at this example here. You can see that the X term has to go to the other side because right now it's on the right side of the equal sign but it needs to be on the left side and then you see that one sixth is a fraction we don't want fractions either so there's two things we have to do move the x term and rewrite that without a fraction so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the x term and the way I do that is I'm going to subtract one sixth to both sides or one sixth x to both sides I bring down my equal sign Notice that the y and x term are not like terms, so I'm not, I'm not going to combine them. I'm just going to bring down the negative 1, 6, x. And since that y is a positive, I'm just going to put down plus y. And then the remaining term on the right side of the equal sign, right, because these canceled, is negative 6. So we are close to standard format. We have the x term and the y term on the left, and then the constant, the number without the variable, is on the right. The only thing we have left is to rewrite it without a fraction. And the way we can do that is you look at your denominator, which in this case is 6. And we're going to multiply every single th term in this equation by that denominator, which is 6. So multiply both sides. And notice I put parentheses around the expression negative 1, 6, x plus y because each of those have to be multiplied by 6. So now I'm going to use the distributive property. 6 times negative 1, 6. I'm going to show you that on the side. If I make the 6 into a fraction, it will be over 1. And when you multiply the numerators together, 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Multiply the denominators together, you get 1 times 6 is 6. And when you divide this out, you just get negative 1. So the first term is negative 1x. And then I do 6 times y, which is 6y. Bring down my equal sign. And negative 6 times positive 6 is negative 36. And as you can see... I have my x term is on the left, the y term is on the left, and the constant is on the right. And notice there are also no fractions, no decimals in my equation. And this is what we call standard format. Here's the next example. It looks a little bit different. First thing I notice is there's no fractions, so I don't have to worry about the fractions. The only thing I have to worry about now is just moving the terms around into the correct spots. However, I do notice that there is a set of parentheses here, which means that I'm going to have to do the distributive property first here so I can move things around. So I rewrite the left side, and then when I distribute the negative 2, I get negative 2x plus 4. So be careful when you distribute when you're dealing with the negatives because like this is a negative 2, and I multiplied it with that. If I consider that like a negative 2, that becomes positive 4. Now I can see that my x term is on the right side of the equal sign. I want it on the left side. So I'm going to cancel that out by adding 2x to both sides. Bring down my equal sign. On the left side, 2x cannot be combined with the y or the 5 because none of those are like terms. So I'm just going to write down all three terms. 2x, that's a positive y, plus 5. And on the right side, these cancel out and we're left with positive 4. And then we're close to standard format. If you notice on the left side, there's three terms. 2x, the y, and the 5. There should only be two terms on the left, the x and the y term, which means I got to get rid of that 5. So I'm going to subtract 5 to both sides. 
and we get 2x plus y equals negative 1. Now that I have my x and y term on the left side, I have the constant on the right side, and there are no decimals, no fractions. I know that this is standard format. And that's all you have to do to rewrite an equation into standard form.